Hello, everyone. Welcome to Music Appreciation. I'm Dr. Jones, and I'm looking forward to studying some fantastic music with you this semester. I want to make sure that you're successful in this class, and one of the keys to success is starting off on the right foot. I hope that this video will give you some helpful hints as you begin to navigate our class. First, some general advice. There's a lot of material to cover in the course, and we usually do it in a short time. I most often teach this class in a compressed session, eight weeks or even four weeks, instead of the full 16 weeks of the semester. Staying on top of the calendar and getting assignments and exams completed by the deadline is really important. Understanding what is required and when it is due is a big part of getting a good grade in this class. So the first thing you want to do when you log into this class is click on the syllabus link right here. When you get to the syllabus page, you'll notice that there is some information presented on the page itself. However, that isn't everything you need. Find the link for the syllabus document on this page and download it onto your computer or mobile device. That way, you can refer to it often. I have the document open here so you can see what it looks like. You'll see that it has my contact information and other general information at the beginning, but I'm betting that the question you are most interested in is, how do I earn my grade? As you can see, we are on a thousand point grading scale, and you'll notice that the exams, there are five of them, make up half that total. So the exams are very important. But of course, there are many other assignments that make up the other half of your total points. Read through the entire document carefully so you understand the full range of assignments and expectations in our course. Once you have read the syllabus, use the modules link on the left-hand side of the page to begin working through our course information module and module one getting started. Course information contains general information about Canvas and navigating your way through the course. The Getting Started module focuses more on explanations of specific assignments. It also contains two assignments that must be completed on time in order to remain enrolled in the class, the Introductions Discussion Board and the first part of the Orientation Test. Please make sure you get those done on time. Anyone who misses either of those deadlines will be dropped. Let me wrap this up by mentioning two more items of importance, the calendar and our chat sessions. Canvas has a calendar function that will show you at a glance the deadlines that are coming up in the next day, week, or month. You can access it through the navigation bar on the far left of your page. Those calendar entries can link you directly to the assignments themselves. And there is also a list of assignment links at the bottom of the syllabus page. But even though you can access assignments by these two methods, I recommend that you get to assignments by moving through our course modules in page order, at least when you're working through the material for the first time. I've definitely had students in the past do poorly on quizzes, exams, and listening assignments because they went straight to an assignment through the calendar without reading the material that led up to that assignment in the module. Going through modules in order may seem a little old-fashioned, but it ensures you don't miss any important preparatory material. Lastly, I want to make you aware of how important chat sessions are. Chat sessions are 45-minute online discussions in real time. Currently, we use Zoom for our chat sessions. Some sessions will be video chats, and in others we will simply use Zoom's text chat feature. Chat sessions will be held on various days and times to try to accommodate all our different schedules. You'll see that there are 16 chats listed on the calendar, but you don't have to attend all of those to earn your chat points. Check the syllabus for the number of sessions required to earn full credit for chat attendance. Attending more than the minimum number is one way you can earn extra credit. Near the end of Module 1 Getting Started, you'll find our chat page. This page contains the Zoom link for every chat session. You'll also find links to the recordings or transcripts for completed chats on that same page. Chats are a great opportunity to ask questions and check in with fellow students. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and good luck as you move through the course information module and the getting started module that follows. We'll see you online.